What's good guys? Welcome to another Pet Simulator X video. It's been uh, a couple of days since we go ahead and cover this to be a little more exact. I think it's been about four days since the last time I make my Pet Simulator X videos. And for that reason, I've been getting contacted by a lot of you asking me if I've completely quit the game. And I just want to make it very clear, if you can tell by my pets, I have not quit at all. Actually, I've been playing a lot on my free time. If I opened up my inventory here, I'm really really close to being able to have an entire team of dark matter techno cats which i mean obviously the goal is to be able to get ourselves some rainbow mythicals but yeah your boy has not been able to get a single one yet shout out to a lot of you though because you guys have been showing me that you've been getting you know one two three four some of you even five rainbow mythicals and uh you know my luck is just not set up that way apparently but anyways today we've got ourselves a nice little interesting leak video we got a couple of things to talk about regarding preston as well as some changes to the update schedule that should be coming very soon from the looks of it at least as well as like you saw in the actual thumbnail itself we got some pets to go over which are kind of the steampunk egg at least that's more or less what all of us are guessing so let's actually go ahead and use that as a perfect starting point for this video and that is taking a look at these brand new steampunk pets as you guys know in my last leak video i showed you guys i believe it was a total of two of them and they weren't even actually the fully completed pets it was just kind of concept art but if you take a look at the image that i'm showing you in the background right now this was provided by leak gang we have a look at the sophisticated fox the steampunk crocodile the ducky magician cat magician toy mouse and then of course their gold and dark matter variants honestly i feel like if i had to choose any of these that i really like i feel like the choices are kind of obvious sophisticated fox is pretty cool steampunk crocodile is pretty cool as well as the cat magician so yes that unfortunately means i have left the ducky and the mouse just uh you know there they're not really all that crazy even though uh they kind of look like the cat magician and i don't know i guess if i had to narrow it down to just two of them i would choose the sophisticated fox and the steampunk crocodile those are the cool ones out of all of them and i feel like it's pretty predictable that the steampunk crocodile will more than likely be the highest rarity but realistically speaking we don't really start getting like the mythicals leaking out as well as like the legendaries and stuff like that until closer to the actual update itself so my guess is that the steampunk crocodile will more than likely end up being some type of like epic or maybe a rare who knows though let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think that this is going to be the legendary of that egg or does it really not just seem that cool because I, I just personally don't think that it's legendary material now there is an image of this this so-called steampunk egg that honestly was leaked out quite some time ago so you guys have probably already seen this just in case if you haven't i'll go ahead and show it on the screen right now but the reason why i'm mentioning this is because there is kind of like an image going around where it's showing the prices of the eggs i just want to make it very clear that there is fake versions of pet simulator x out there where people upload fake pets and like live events and like just crazy stuff all of the leaked pets they re-upload them and give them their own kind of like unique stats and stuff so don't take these prices that you're seeing very seriously unless it's posted by rgl leaks league gang or of course preston himself which kind of when it comes to the prices i would say the most reliable source would be preston instead of anybody else because we don't really ever get any prices from league gang or from rgl leaks because they just I guess can't see that type of stuff unless of course we're talking about like a game pass or something like that but anyways man let's go ahead now and move on to the next thing which is of course the change of potentially updates as you guys know a little while ago we got ourselves a nice little roadmap i guess or a schedule from preston and basically the way that he broke it down to us was that we would be getting one big update and then a small update and then a big update and a small update and that would repeat every single week so in essence we were going to be getting weekly updates just big updates would only be coming bi-weekly being every single two weeks well as i'm sure you guys have already seen by now on the 24th which is last friday preston went ahead and confirmed that there wasn't going to be an update last week because like i mentioned in my previous leak video he was in the middle of moving lots of stuff was going on in real life for him so he really didn't get a chance to sit down and work on the update but in the mix of all of that one of his twitter followers asked him if we can go ahead and get ourselves an updated schedule on how exactly the updates are going to be working for pet simulator x where as you can see in the background right now preston replied and said yeah i was thinking of transitioning to bi-weekly updates this is really interesting because well that means that we will not be getting updates every single week which i mean for the most part i feel like we're all kind of used to it by now there's kind of like this divided community where you know you have the individuals that spend a crazy amount of robux in the game and they can pretty much complete an entire update within three maybe four days but then you have the people that are uh well how can i they're normal humans 
Like, you know, they have lives outside of the computer and, and they do things, you know? I know it's kind of weird, but those people exist out there. And it takes them pretty much the entire week to be able to complete these updates. So by the time that they're getting close to getting even just a single legendary, another update is dropping with a whole new set of pets. And these poor individuals are just kind of playing a cat and mouse game. Like they're never actually becoming extremely OP like a lot of us are that are spending Robux. So honestly, in my personal opinion, I feel like by weekly updates which of course if you don't know what that means it means every single two weeks in my opinion seems like a great idea it lets the individuals that are able to turn op within four days become even more op and it allows the individuals that just don't have enough free time to play to become at least half decent and i mean if you even set all of that aside you obviously have the opportunity of preston working on a lot more content which means we get ourselves some nice little hefty updates every single saturday when they do drop so i feel like it's a win-win situation for every everybody personally i don't think anyone will be angry about this but i'm sure you guys will voice your opinions in the comments or call me an idiot for saying any of this now the final thing that i want to touch up on is something that preston tweeted but then kind of deleted it at least i'm not able to find it anywhere if you kind of keep up with everything that's going on within the roblox universe you'll know that roblox is considering adding voice chat into the game and preston went ahead and tweeted out at least i'm pretty sure he did on his personal account because i do have his twitter notifications turned on so they pop up on my phone as soon as he tweets out totally not stalker material but anyways he basically went ahead and asked what type of games do have voice chat enabled again i really wish i had a screenshot of this so i could show it to you in the background but what was really interesting about this is that not everybody has access to voice chat obviously it's in the horizon probably really closer than any of us can even imagine and there is a lot of games that are enabling this which really won't affect a lot of us i mean honestly it won't even affect me because only people that have access to voice chat will be able to use the voice chat in the game so even if this feature was to be turned on it really wouldn't make much of a difference to us but i just thought i would go ahead and let you guys know that preston is considering from what it seems like obviously this is unofficial because he didn't directly say hey you know i'm planning on adding it to pet simulator x but he kind of indirectly made it seem like he was considering turning it on for pet sim or obviously it could be for any of his other games because there is such a huge variety of games that he has but yeah man again nothing too crazy for today i did show you guys the two concept arts the other day so i figured it would only be fair for me to go ahead and update you guys on the brand new set of pets that were kind of put out and on top of that i did want to let you guys know about this possible change in the update schedule figured it'd be kind of cool to see some of your opinions on this and on top of that i did want to let you guys know that i have not quit pet simulator x i'm still very much playing this if you guys for some reason want to see something let me know in the comments i'm open to all video ideas because well who doesn't want free video ideas that sounds marvelous but anyways man i think i'm gonna go ahead and call the video right here love you guys thank you for all the support always i really do appreciate it kind of wild to think that we're already about to hit 105k man that's pretty crazy but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one take care like always i'm out of here man peace